यू नो इन अकॉर्डेंस विथ न्यूटन्स थर्ड ऑफ मोशन एक्शन इज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट टू रिएक्शन इट मीन्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन आर सेम बट दियर डायरेक्शन आर अपोजिट ओके एंड ऑल्सो दिस लॉ स्टेट दैट एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन एक्ट इंस्टेंटेनियसली इट मीन्स देयर इज नो टाइम गैप नो टाइम लैग बिटवीन द एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन ओके बट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फोर्स दैट दिस लॉ इज नॉट वैलिड इट मीन्स हेयर यू विल सी दैट देयर विल बी एक्शन बट देयर विल बी नो रिएक्शन सो एक्शन इज जी इज नॉट जीरो बट रिएक्शन इज जीरो इट इज पॉसिबल सो इन दिस केस यू कैन से दैट न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन डज नॉट होल्ड दैट बैडली इन फैक्ट फेल्स फॉर दिस लेट एस कंसिडर टू करंट एलिमेंट्स यू नो करंट एलिमेंट इज जस्ट ए पॉइंट एंड हियर आई हैव सोन इन दिस फिगर दैट दिस वन विच हैज बीन मार्क बाय वन दिस इज द फर्स्ट करंट एलिमेंट एंड इट इज आई वन डी एल वन एंड मार्क बाय दिस नंबर टू दिस इज सेकेंड करंट एलिमेंट विच इज आई टू डी एल टू एंड हाउ दिज टू करंट एलिमेंट्स आर ओरिएंटेड दिस हैज बीन सोन इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट अब आई हैव कंसिडर्ड द कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट द एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस लाइज इन दिस प्लेन एंड जेड एक्सिस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस प्लेन एज आई हैव सोन so you can see that the first current element is directed in x direction while the second current element is directed in y direction so you can say that these two current elements are uh, oriented at right angle to one another okay and the separation between these two current elements is r since the current elements are just like points so you can take this r has a unique value now uh, we will find what will be the magnetic force exerted by this first current element on the second current element if you want to find the magnetic force exerted by first current element on second current element what you will do you know the current element actually produces magnetic field and the magnetic field produced by the first current element will exert magnetic force on the second current element so for this you have to first of all calculate the magnetic field produced by the first current element at the site of the second current element and this is actually found uh, by the use of biot sebart law you know the in accordance with biot sebart law the magnetic field produced by the first current element at the site of the second current element will be what this is mu not divided by 4 pi i1 dl1 cross r divided by r cube this is just biot sebart law now you can find the this magnetic field in magnitude and direction both of these by using uh, the unit vector no uh, use of hand rule so you can see uh, the figure i1 dl1 this is directed in x direction so this is directed in the unit vector i hat okay and the position vector of this second current element with respect to the first this will be actually directed in uh, which direction this is directed in minus j hat direction that is negative y direction okay so uh, you can replace this dl1 by dl1 i hat and r by r minus j you can see now this result becomes mu not by 4 pi i dl1 by r square 1 r will cancel out from here and you know that i cross j is k and um, since there is minus sign so this is minus k and minus k means uh, that magnetic field at this place Uh, that at the site of second current element is directed in the inward direction that is perpendicular to this x y plane and into the page so i have marked it by this cross sign okay so this is the magnetic field produced by the first current element at the site of the second current element the page has been turned but this will be just okay so let us see okay now 
if you find the magnitude of this magnetic field db1 this will be mu naught by 4 pi i dl1 by r square because magnitude of this unit vector minus k hat will be 1 now this magnetic field which was which is produced by the first current element will exert magnetic force on the second current element and so you can say that the magnetic force exerted by the first current element on the second current element which i have denoted by the symbol f21 this is magnetic force exerted by the first current element on second current element f21 and this will be you know uh, the magnetic force on a current element in a uniform magnetic field is i dl cross b so this will be i2 dl2 cross db1 okay but uh, see the figure dl2 is directed in which direction this is directed in the direction of y axis so we can take the unit vector j hat along dl2 so uh, dl2 vector is written as dl2 j hat and you have seen that db1 is directed in minus k direction so this will be i2 dl2 db1 and you know j cross k you know j cross k is equal to what this is equal to i and since there is minus sign so this will be minus i now let us substitute the value of db1 which we have obtained so this will be i2 dl2 times mu naught by 4 pi i1 dl1 by r square minus i and so finally you get the magnetic force exerted by the first current element on the second current element this is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i1 i2 dl1 dl2 by r square minus i hat it means uh, the magnetic force exerted by this first current element on the second current element is directed in negative x direction which i have shown in this figure okay you can say that this is action it means force exerted by first current element on the second you can take this force as action now our aim is to find the reaction if you want to find the reaction uh, what you will do first of all we will find the magnetic field produced by the second current element at the site of the first current element i am just uh, uh, drawing the figure here this is your second current element and uh, this is the site of the first current element i1 dl1 okay so now this position vector will be uh, position vector of i1 dl1 with respect to i2 dl2 and so in this case r will be rj okay and uh, magnetic field field at the site of site of i1 dl1 due to i2 dl2 i2 dl2 if you take this magnetic field by the symbol db2 then again according to biot sebart law this will be mu naught by 4 pi i2 dl2 cross r and divided by r cube okay now this will be mu naught over 4 pi i2 dl2 see dl2 is directed in the y direction and so you can write it dl2 j hat and r is also directed in y direction so this will be r j okay and divided by r q but you know that j hat cross j hat this equals zero this is equal to zero and therefore the magnetic field produced by the second current element at the site of the first current element is zero so uh, it means uh, no magnetic field is produced by the second current element at the site of first current element and so 
what will be the force so magnetic force on the current element 1 due to 2 what will be this if you denote this force by the symbol f12 f12 then what will be this f12 this will be again uh, this will be i1 dl1 cross db2 okay i dl cross b but as db2 is zero you can see so this force will be what this force will be simply equal to zero because this db2 is equal to zero so what you are seeing here you can see that f12 is zero but f21 is not zero so therefore you can say that f12 which is actually reaction you can say here this is reaction so action is present but reaction is absent so you can say that f12 is not equal to minus f21 and permanently this reaction is actually zero but action is taking place so you can easily say that in this case action is non-zero but reaction is zero and so newton's third law of motion badly fails in this case of magnetic force okay thank you very much